Hi, everybody. Great to have you with us on Post Game Plus. Bob Lorenz and Frank Isola with you. The Nets returning from their All Star break Thursday. They beat the Celtics 121 to 109. Another inspiring performance against Boston by Kyrie Irving. Uh, he was tremendous tonight. And if you go to the final four minutes of this game, Boston had cut it to a two point game. The Nets close out the game 13 to 3 run. Kyrie had eight of those points, two big three pointers. You know that he loves playing against his former team. And let's not forget about Landry Shamit, the job yeah. that he did with 18 points. Kyrie and Landry Shamit combined to go 11 for 17 on three points. It's impressive. 39 bench points, by the way, for the Nets. And with that win, they improved to 25 and 13. It's the first time they've been at least 12 games over 500 since the end of the 2012 2013 season, which was one year, or year one rather, for the franchise in Brooklyn. When Kyrie met the media afterwards, our Michael Grady asked what it was like for him to take part in the NBA's All Star festivities this past Sunday and then to reunite with his teammates and defeat Boston the way they did. It felt good. You know, just be able to, um, you know, get a few days of rest, sort of say. You know, I'm really blessed, um, you know, to be able to play on that platform with so many great players and then come straight into the season again. Um, you know, it is what it is. So we, we just had a nice practice yesterday. You should have saw the first five minutes. They were horrible. I mean, you know, we get them, went up and down scrimmaging, you know, everybody getting back from, um, you know, vacation, sort of say. So it, we just wanted to come out and play with maximum effort. And I mean, you know, going against the Celtics, we'll, we'll see them down the line, you know, later on in the season more, you know, probably in the playoffs as well. Who knows? But we just want to, um, you know, match their effort tonight and just have fun out there. You know, that's, that's, that's really what we want to do. Just enjoy competing at a high level. You guys, you know, welcoming Blake Griffin into the mix now, waiting on Kevin to return from injury. So much talent on this team. But you know how hard it is to win a championship. To be successful, what is it going to take to get on the same page and achieve that ultimate goal? Uh, just controlling what we can control. Um, we can't necessarily control some of the circumstances with COVID or uh, things that come up with the team or injuries and stuff like that. So we just control what we can control every single night. We've got a lot of healthy bodies, a lot of high IQ, high IQ basketball players in the locker room, um, great coaching staff. You know, so we... we we're just doing it together uh, alongside everybody that's along the journey with the fans that support and, you know, obviously everybody out there. Uh, this season, it just means something different for us, play with a different purpose. So um, all of that is factored in in terms of what's going on in the season. It's just it's just about something bigger. You know, we just want to make see guys be happy um, in this league. You know, guys play with other guys that, uh, you know, they've seen for a while as competitors or, you know, like I said, it's just about feeling good. Brooklyn will return to action Saturday with a matchup against Detroit. 6.30 is the start time for our coverage, which you can watch on TV or stream through the brand new Yes app, available wherever you download your apps. For Frank Isola and Bob Lorenz, thanks for watching Post Game Plus.